ton of calls here. How about we go to uh, something non-sexual for a little bit? Let's go to Miko, who's 18, has a question about college. Miko, you're on the show. What's up? Hey, how's it going, Mo? This oh. is Miko, yeah. Yeah, we're doing great. Miko, Leia Salonga here, Dr. Gan. What's going on? Hey. Uh, how's it going? Hi. What's um, up? All right, well, the thing is, um, I came from the States, and I kind of messed up my first years of high school. So when I transferred here, my okay. grades coming in here weren't so good. And, you know, my parents are getting oh, pissed okay. off and all that. So now I'm telling my parents that I want to go to UP. And they're telling me that, no, I'm never going to make it. So it's kind of putting me down. So, Well, here's the good thing about UP, Miko. And I didn't go there, but at least I know that the tuition's not expensive. Okay. They, don't, they, don't make, they don't make it difficult for students to want to go there. So you can apply. There's not a heavy uh, – I don't think there's going to be a heavy uh, – application fee or anything like that, give it a shot. I mean, screw what your parents think. If they're going to put you down about what they think about you, F them, do it behind their back. You're 18 years old. You're from the U.S. You know that at 18, you're more of an adult than anyone else is. I mean, because you're, you're, you're introduced into you're the society. You're emancipated on it. Yeah, you're, you're there, you know? I mean, I know 18-year-olds here, at least in our culture, fine. You, you could you probably still be babied a little bit. But, you know, you're, you're westernized. You're a 18. little bit. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I have, well, sorry. I have no inner monologue. Ah, I'm sorry. Anyway, continue. No, no worries. But, you know, go behind their back. Apply for college. You're not committing a crime. You're not taking any money from them. Yeah. You're not hurting the family legacy. You're not doing any of those fucking things. Go yeah, out. Yeah, I know. It's true. But, I mean, the thing is, is I also kind of want to move out because, I mean, kind of like they're holding me back. So my friends are telling me, hey, go ahead and move out. You're 18. And I agree with them. But the thing is, I need the cash, so I don't know what I should do right now. Yeah, just, just I guess, just do it if you're if you're ready to move out and you have you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, that's... the thing is, I don't have the cash. Yeah, but here, here's the great well, thing about UP: their tuition. To, well, you can try, try to get it to UP, and then there, there's like dorms, I think. Right, and, and the tuition is expensive. Yeah, the tuition is inexpensive. If you go to La Salle, you go to Ateneo, you're gonna you're gonna pay hundred grand a semester. You go to UP, it's reasonable tuition. Try to try to get your ass in that school. Reasonable tuition. Find some roommates. Get a job that's a little part time. You know what I mean? It's a Go call center. You 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 seem like you have the diction and the and the and the cadence to make a, an excellent call center. He's they, got a nice place. Yeah, they probably start at twenty thousand bucks a uh, life for the scholarship. Something like that. You you know what I mean? You might, okay, fine. Let's be real. You might not get the scholarship because yeah. your grades are thin. Yeah, that's but, a good idea. But at least try to get into the school. You can get a job at a call center. No yeah, because you don't really know until you try. Yeah, right. You'll yeah, you, I don't I don't have a job or, any, or the only job I have right now actually. They do a little bit of modeling here and there, and uh, I've been in a few commercials, but I mean, it's not its not steady income for me, so I need something that'll, like, get me steady. Miko, Miko, I, 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 you know, either. Miko, I think people, I, I think you'll be fine at a call center. I think you have what it takes, at least just from the, the little that we've experienced from you. Try applying there. You're fairly young. You might not have the college degree, but I think they still, they still will take you. I'm not 100% sure, but... You, I think you, they... I'm sorry? Well... I don't know what they're. Yeah, that'll are. take him. I think his accent will get him in the door. Right, and because you know they they train you to sound like you, Miko. Mm -hmm. So if you have that already, use that as an use that as a plus in your life. Get a job there. That's going to pay for your tuition. Hopefully, you get an UP. A lot of your income's not going to go to tuition. You can go ahead and pay for your dorm or your apartment with your roommates. This is this is all part of growing up. You're 18. This is where you experience it, and all the hardships you're going through now is just going to set you up for better decision making. Uh, when you're more of an adult. Because yeah, we're going to exactly like apply something. for a call center job because I've only been here for just a little bit of time. So. Oh, there's plenty. Convergies, there's there's uh, e -tele e -tele e -tele Teletech, I think Teletech yeah. is one of them, yeah. And they're all looking. Uh, I think even the companies, like specific companies like Dell and IBM, they have their own call centers just for their brand. So <laughs> trust me, they're hiring, they're advertising. They advertise on my radio show. I, we should get them to advertise here. You'll be able to find one. Uh, you just have to wow them in the interview and you're going to be all right. Right. Even without that high school degree, I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. I think so. I don't. I don't think it's. You may need some working knowledge on whatever your whatever the brand is that you're working on, though. I think, like, if you're working for Dell, you certainly would need a working knowledge of their computers and their products in order to help out um, a customer who happens to be, you know, on the line. But I think beyond that, I, I don't know that a college degree is actually required for a call center job, but I don't know. I've never yeah. worked in one. So. And then if worse comes to worse, you can get your GED online, which will act as your high school diploma, just in case, you know what I mean? Because I don't even know if UP will take you without that. So get the GED online if that's your your major problem in getting it, whether it be getting into school or getting an employment. You can do that in a couple of months. You study for that, and you should be fine. All right, Miko? All right, thank All right, you. Thanks, buddy. Have a good one. All right, you too. All right, Leah, are you having All fun? Right.
Yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm having good. a good old time over here. Great, I'm, I'm glad. That, that's music to my ears. Let's take a commercial break because we're about five minutes late for a break. When yeah, we come it's back, like the stuff that I don't, you know, <laughs> yeah, this stuff is all... that I don't get to talk about in normalism. No, and that, that, that's really <laughs> what everybody's tweeting me about how they're enjoying your inputs because it's not that they're shocked by it, but it's nice to see the different side of you. The the more um, I don't want to say the more human side of you because it's not like you don't show a human side, but just I guess the more no, intimate. and it's not risque either. You know, it's not. This is not pornographic by right. any means. It's just matter of fact, experiential life stuff. So it's it's all good. Oh, you're awesome. You got to come in here next time and next month or whenever. You got to be in studio because it's going to be awesome, man. Let's take a break. When we come back, more awesome. of Leia Salonga and more.